everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm holding a piece of char cloth in my hand. Some of you might not understand what char cloth is. Char cloth is a material that you can use to capture an ember. It's a great fire starting material. I like to use it especially when I'm trying to catch an ember using the sun's rays or solar energy. Okay, so char cloth is very good for things like that. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the process of how to make your own char cloth for fire starting. Okay? It's very it's very good for solar fire starting because the color is dark and when you capture an ember from the sun I mean it takes just a little bit to capture an ember you see that it doesn't take much at all works really good if you try to use a cotton ball or something of that nature when you're trying to capture an ember by using a solar technique to create fire such as a magnifying glass or the lens of a flashlight and if you're using a cotton ball you might have a little more problem or it might take a little more time to capture that ember and that's because cotton balls are white and solar energy is much more attracted to dark items than it is to white items. So the sun's energy catches char cloth much quicker than it does cotton balls. Some of the items that you're going to need to make char cloth are a heat source, and we're going to be using our little backpacking stove you're gonna need some cloth this is just old t-shirt material and you're gonna need some sort of metal can okay now the metal can has to have some sort of lid where you can close it to contain the cloth inside now you notice right here there's a small hole poked through I'll explain that hole here in a second. Here's another example of a can that you can use to make char cloth. And again, you see right here on the front, I've popped a little hole in there. This small can is the can that I prefer to use to make my char cloth. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your cloth and rip it or cut it into sections or should I say into the size of the material that you want to make the char cloth so in our case we're gonna cut little small squares about like what I showed you at the beginning of the video it doesn't have to be perfect folks okay just make sure that the material is this you know it's not too big than the can that you're putting it into so I'm gonna cut the the width of this down just a little bit these scissors are so dull I'm due for a new pair So you see that? It fits fits very nice into the can. That's what you want. And not just one piece. You want to make a pile of pieces in your can. So I'm just going to cut these down. Hopefully they'll fit. You need several pieces and just stack them in there and again it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that you just want them as flat and straight as possible 
and get as many pieces in there as you want. Doesn't matter if you rip or cut it. Just fill your can full of material. And I don't know if I mentioned it already. I think I did. But your your heat source can be just about anything. It can be a fire. It could be a stove. Any any kind of heat source will will work just fine. I'm just filling this baby up. Nothing too crazy. And like I said, why do I use char cloth? Because it it it's dark in color and it absorbs solar energy very good. So I'm just filling my can. And I'll probably finish up with this piece here. Okay, so there we have it. We have our container full of cloth. And, and again, I can't stress it enough, we have a small hole in our container here. So the next step is to close the container, leaving that hole exposed. Because we want that hole to be open enough so that smoke can come out of the can. Okay, from here we want to take our can with the hole exposed and put it on the heat and turn the heat up. Our goal is to superheat the cloth inside. basically going to burn the cloth, but we're not going to let the oxygen leave the cloth. See the smoke coming out of the hole? We basically leave it on the heat until it stops smoking. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of heat. So we're just going to let that sit until we see it stop smoking.
still smoking, so it's not done yet. Okay, now you can see that the smoke is starting to slow down. We're almost done. Once you see the smoke stop, you want to stop the heat completely. If you're using fire, you want to take it off of the flame. And I closed the container. And you see I set it aside. Sorry about that camera angle. I didn't realize I was out of the camera. So now, we just wait for it to cool down. And when it's all said and done, when it's nice and cool to the touch, we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look. And there should be some good char cloth inside. We're going to let it sit there for about 10-15 minutes. And then we'll come back. Okay, everybody, let's take a look. Yep, it's cool to the touch. Let's take a look inside. See what we have here. Looks like we have some char cloth. Take a piece out. Close our container. Well, let's see what we have here. See if we have some good char cloth. I always test it before I take off expecting to use it. Looks like we have some good char cloth here. So we have successfully completed our char cloth. So again, I want to say thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching. As always, please feel free to comment and subscribe, like, thumbs up, whatever you do. And stay tuned. I have many more good things coming in the future. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.